Hi, my name is Chen Han Tsai. The work Knee Injury Detection Using MRI with Efficiently Layered Network is a joint research between Tel Aviv University and the Shiba Medical Center. It is supervised by Professor Nahum Kiryati and Dr. Anado Mayer. With the rising workload faced by radiologists each day, there is a high demand to improve efficiency by which knee exams are carried out. As opposed to conventional approach where knee exams are arranged according to their acquisition date, triage prioritizes each exam by their level of severity so that more severe cases are prioritized first. In this work, we present LNET, a promising backbone for triage use. Shown above is the LNET architecture. The input is a 3D image of dimension sliced by height by width, S by H by W. Height and width are constant, whereas slices may vary between cases. Each slice is treated as a 2D image and a feature vector is extracted for each slice. Aggregation is performed by max pooling the stacked feature vectors to obtain a single feature vector representing the whole volume. This single feature vector is fed into a fully connected layer and the output logits are fed into softmax to obtain the class probabilities. In the above diagram, 4K, 8K, and 16K refer to the channel dimensions and K is a hyperparameter. Now we will present the core components of LNET. On the left is a block module with two repeats. Each repeat is a sequence of 2D convolution, normalization, then a ReLU. A skip connection is added between the input and output of a block to allow for better convergence during training. In the middle are two possible multi-slice normalization that is utilized in LNET. The normalization is performed on the feature representations of each slice separately. The difference between layer norm and contrast norm are the way the channels are normalized, and we demonstrate in our paper that multi-slice norm boosts performance compared with batch norm. Lastly, on the right is an example of blur pool downsampling. In a paper by Richard Tsang, blur pool was proposed as a replacement for 2D max pooling. Blur pool first applies a low pass filter on the input before downsampling, and this allows the network to be more robust to minor shifts in the input. These core components make up LNET. Next, we evaluate LNET on two publicly available knee MRI datasets. The first is the MRNET dataset. Each exam is given three independent binary labels according to whether ACL tear, meniscus tear, or other abnormalities exist in the knee. In addition, three imaging modalities, the axial, coronal, and sagittal scans, are given for each knee. This is currently the largest publicly available knee MRI dataset with labels for knee conditions. The second is the knee MRI dataset. The ACL condition is labeled for each case and the sagittal scans are provided. Prior to our work, the state of the art for both datasets is the MRNet architecture proposed by Bionet L. And in our experiments, we compare LNet with MRNet. For each injury detection objective, we list their configuration on the table above. We train each LNet from scratch and early stopping is applied. The number of parameters for LNet is listed and in comparison to the 183 million parameters of MRNet, LNet is considerably more lightweight. Although not deeply investigated in our work, we notice the correspondence between the selected image modality and the choice for multi-slice normalization. Here, we compare LNet performance with MRNet on the MRNet dataset. In the original work by Bayan et al., the ROC AUC was considered. In our work, we include the additional Matthews correlation coefficient. Notice the higher MCC and slightly improved ROC AUC with LNet. Here, we evaluate LNet performance on the knee MRI dataset using a 5-fold cross-validation. As seen above, model performance was consistent across all 5 folds. In the original paper by Stadger et al., an AUC of 0.894 was reported using an SVM classifier. In the paper by Bayan et al., an AUC of 0.911 was achieved. In our work, we obtained an average of 0.913, with 3 of the 5 folds exceeding 0.92, the best being 0.924. To verify that LNET was detecting the correct features in the knee, we set up an experiment by choosing 9 cases with ACL tear and 7 cases without ACL tear from the knee MRI dataset. The foreground algorithm generated a heat map that is hotter around regions containing the tear and cold elsewhere. An MSK radiologist with 17 years of experience was asked to identify the most informative slice in the series of MRI. Of the 9 positive cases, LNET selected the correct informative slice in 8 of the cases. Of the 7 negative cases, LNET matched the radiologist's determination in each case. In summary, we present LNET, a lightweight CNN architecture that can be easily trained from scratch. We demonstrate LNET's adequate performance in a series of knee injury diagnosis. In general, LNET may be applied to other pathologies involving 3D images such as MRIs or CT. So if any of your works involve such images, feel free to give LNET a try.